Hello and welcome to Ian's Bricks. I'm Ian and today I've got a little different video for you today. I thought I'd go through some of the uh, instructions and catalogues for the Lego sets that I have actually opened. Uh, so these are them all here. There's quite a few of them to go through. Uh, a lot of them sort of date from the late 2000s, early 2010. So, so some of them are quite old. Um, I do like to sort of keep them in these little plastic wallets here wherever possible and then what I'll do is I'll put them in these slightly larger uh, file cabinet things here which have sort of keep them all nicely in place and keep, uh, keep them from getting ruffled and crinkled and things like that. Uh, so yeah, so I want to start going through uh, the uh, the catalogues. I hope you enjoy this. If there are any of the sets that you see that you'd like me to build at some stage, please let me know. I'm unable to sort of uh, build and keep a lot of my sets because I, I, I just don't have the space for it, unfortunately. So I do dismantle things and then rebuild them from time to time. So if there is anything you see that you want me to build, let me know. Uh, but let's get on and let's have a look and see what catalogues I've got. So here we have the first uh, item or, <laughs> or catalogue and as you can see it's actually a, a sales catalogue or an advertising catalogue. Uh, this is actually from summer of 2009. I, should, I have three here. Uh, I think they're a little bit older the other two. Let's have a quick look. Oh no, January 2010 uh, and spring 2010. So they're both from around the same era. I do quite like to keep these whenever I get them just because you can see what old sets are available, how much they used to cost. Um, as you can see from the January 2010, a new theme Atlantis. That didn't last very long, did it? Never mind. Um, but yeah, it's, it's always interesting to keep those and have a look and see what, uh, see what sets were available. Okay, so the next thing we have this is the what was called the designer set and I think this was the precursor to uh, Lego Creator. Um, I actually, when was this from? Let's have a quick look at the back. Some of the old sets there. Oh yeah, they could call them designer sets, look. Okay, before Creator. This is actually from 2004 um, and I just really like this. I've not bought Lego for quite a number of years when I first bought this. And I just sort of really like the set. It's very similar to the creative buildings that you get today, but not as much detail. Uh, just more and more of just the building, really. No minifigures, anything like that. But I still like this. I do still have this. I have all of these sets. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'd quite like to probably rebuild this and see sort of how it differs. Interesting to see the sets on the back as well. Um, yeah, very, very interesting. So that was probably my oldest uh, catalogue there. We then have this, which is the creator set. So I think we... Let's have a look at the year on this one. Slightly different on the back, as you can see. So this is from 2008. You can just see that there. And this was the, I think it was called the Beach Hut. It was a three-in-one. So by then, Lego had started to do three-in-one sets. And I've actually got the three different catalogues. That's the main build there of this sort of beach house, which, uh, which I liked. Again, no minifigures with this set. Uh, there was a second build there, which was sort of a smaller building. Uh, what do we get on the back of there? Just advertising some other Lego city sets and things. And this was the third build here, which was uh, a sort of a taller building. I don't think I've ever built the second and third one. I just ever, only ever built the first one. But this is good. I think the roof from memory comes comes up on this one. Uh, but yeah, again, I, I, I do like these creator sets. I sort of got sort of what we got back got me back into Lego from the dark days of the early 2000s and late 90s. So next is this, another creator set here. Again, I think this is a three-in-one. Oh yes, I've got some more, more uh, booklets there. So this is, again, a really, really big house, this one. Um, uh, start to get more detail. Again, still no minifigures. This is from 2009. So you can see a pattern here where I obviously, every year I seem to like one of the sets there. So that's that one. And the two other builds that you get, again, I don't think I've ever built either of these. Um, oh, sort of just two other buildings, really. Uh, the one on the left is a little bit weird because it's got no, the roof sort of is all spread out. But anyway, nice that you get separate instruction booklets for all of those. Next one is this set here. Now, I do love this set. This is the Apple Tree House. I think I've got a couple more of these as well, still sealed. So uh, yeah, I, as soon as I, I saw this build, I really liked it. Again, no minifigures, but I do know that the, the garage door on this one goes up and you've got a, a little uh, little lawnmower, which is quite cute. Uh, this is from, oh there we have Screaming screaming Lego Boy on the back. Uh, 2010 this is from, so 10 years old. And again, we get separate instructions for the alternate builds. There's a smaller house there and a, a three-storey house there. Um, so yeah, again, nice, nice creator set. And the next one 
we've got a theme here, got all the creative ones together, but we've got this set here which is 5771. Uh, this is from, again, Screaming Lego Boy 2011. Um, again, I really like this set, and I think this is one of the first ones to come with uh, Le Lego minifigures when creators started to do that. They sort of decided that minifigures sell, sell Lego sets. Uh, this is probably one of the first sets to have hot dogs in them. That shows you how old those pieces are there. Um, again, we've got some alternate builds. Let's have a look and see what they are. Um, just a smaller house and a, not a lot of variation really. There's not a lot of difference. The, the main build is always the best one. Um, so yeah, so they're, they're quite good. So I do like those sets. So next we seem to have the, going into some Winter Village sets here. So I think this, was this the original one? 10199, the original toy shop? Um, I think this is probably the first Winter Village set that they did. Uh, again, really, really like this set. Um, I tend to build these sometimes at Christmas time, obviously. Um, what's on the back of this one? Just sort of oh, same same as the other ones. Oh, that's from 2009. So again, it's relatively old, that set. But yeah, I loved that as soon as I saw it. Really, really like that set. So pleased to still have that one. The next one, another Winter Village, 10216. This was the, was this the bakery? Uh, again, really nice set. I do like all these Winter Village sets. Um, Ah, look here, this lady here, she's got, she doesn't have ice skates, so that's before the ice skate mould must have come out there. Um, I do like the, the guy that's, uh, the legs in the, in the snow as well, he's obviously had a bit of a disaster. Um, yeah, so this is, this is a, a nice set, I may have even still got the stickers in here, because I tend to find that with a lot of the sets, there they are, look at that, I tend not to like to use the stickers. Um, again, there's only a few in this one, um, but yeah, so I keep them all and I tend to keep the sets with the stickers in there, but yeah, really, really nice set this one. Let's put that back in its bag. Uh, when was that from? What year is that? Uh, 2010. Next one. This is the Winter Village Post Office. 12222. Um, Again, probably not my, my most favourite of these. I have built this. Um, less snow on this one. Uh, I can't remember much about this. I'm, it must have been a while. I must have probably built this when I first got it and never built it again. Um, so this is from 2011. So, yeah, another Winter Village set. We have another one below that. This is 10229. Um, this was, was this the toy shop? I can't remember which one this was now. We get two two instructions with this one. Let me just have a look. Is it a toy shop? I can't remember. Yeah, I think it's the toy shop. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I always like this one because of the, the roof. There's sort of big heavy snow on the roof. Um, and you get a little couple of little side builds as well. Quite nice. Oh, I've forgotten about the igloo. <laughs> the igloo build at the top there. Okay, and we have another Winter Village set here. This looks like it's um, still in the original packet that came came from. Oh, it is. Look, yeah, from in the actual Lego bag. So this is from uh, 2013, and this is the I don't know what you call this one. Is it the Christmas market, Christmas fair, something like that? Um, yeah, again, you get two. Well, this is where they started the creator expert line, so they started calling them expert. Uh, again, um, I do like these winter builders. I haven't, I haven't bought one for a while, I think, because I bought quite a few of them, and um, and it was sort of like, okay. And I do remember, if I remember, oh, there we are, there's the stickers, the stickers are on the back. All these lovely, shiny foil stickers here. So, um, yeah, maybe maybe I'll build that one, because I think that, I like that one with the carousel. I think, uh, I think that was a good little, fun little build from what I remember. So that's all of the Winter Village sets. Let's get on to some other other style of sets here. So we have the, the VW Camper. Now this is still available. Uh, I bought this probably when it first came out back in 2011, I would like to say. Yeah, you can see how old it is from the back of this advertisement of the uh, the modular buildings that advertising. Yeah, 2011 it says there, uh, 10220. This is a great set. I do love this set and uh, I, do, I have built this a couple of times actually. Um, it is still available. I did buy a few of these at the time. 
uh, and kept them sealed, but I did build one of them. Uh, fantastic set. If you don't have it, get it soon because it probably will retire fairly, fairly soon. Next one is the Lego Crater Mini uh, 10242. Now this has got two booklets in. Uh, again, I did build this one. I did use the stickers on this one as well, if I remember rightly. Um, a great set. I think this. I like this just because it do, it does look like a mini. Uh, size wise, it is. When you put these side by side, it do, they don't quite work. But as an individual set, I think this is great. I just I love this set, and I love the little picnic basket as well. So that's fabulous. That is from what year? Twenty fourteen. That first came out. So yeah, still really pleased to have that. Let's get some idea sets here. So we have the um, the buildable the, the buildable book with the the two little inserts that you get there. Obviously, you can see the different style here. They've got sort of more booklet type things. They've changed the way that they do things. Uh, this is from 2018, so this is relatively new still. Um, so yeah, again, I, I built this. Um, I don't remember being any stickers in here I think these are all printed pieces so nice little set if you don't have that I know it was very very recently available again for a very short period of time uh, to buy you can maybe go to a Lego store and still get one of these but yeah I think your time might have run out if you haven't got that one and then we have the Lego Friends set this is a great set I love Friends I'm a huge Friends fan when this first came out I thought yeah gotta have this gotta buy this I've got it on display actually still, I must do a quick review of it before I dismantle it. But yeah, if you don't have this, get this. This is still available, quite readily available. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a fabulous set. Definitely brilliant, definitely worth recommending. <clears throat> so back to some older things here. So we have this. Um, this is a Lego Castle set 7079. Um, now what year is this from? Uh, oh, 2009 it says at the back there. Um, I think I got this set because I think we had a, a jester in it and at the time it was the, uh, probably one of the easiest ways to get a jester. I also like the skeleton horse as well. I don't know how rare that is, whether they did many of those. But yeah, that's a fun little build that. Um, yeah, I, I like that set. I, I think uh, I sort of have built... I have bought one or two castle sets over the years, but that's that's a really fun little build, that, and just some sort of unusual pieces that I didn't sort of already have. We then have this one here. This is the castle... Well, this is Medieval Market Square. Um, I love this when it came out. 10193. Uh, you get two instruction booklets with this one. I just like the, the fact that you get two buildings. They can be... Put, put together so you can close them up and you've got sort of all this thing you get loads of minifigures with it it was just a really fun fun build and again I'd, I'd probably like to build this again soon because I've not built this one for a while uh, this again shows you all the castle sets on the back that were available at the time I don't think they include this set that I've just shown you but it's from 2008 originally so it's quite a long time ago um, so yeah I, I probably want to build that one at some stage Next, we have some Lego City sets. I think I'm going to have to take these out because there's quite a few of them in here. These are just some old, older City sets. Let's just go through them one by one. There's a, an old games uh, toy invitation 2009. So when Lego used to do all their games, there's a booklet about those. Let's start from these ones. So we've got this little, little vehicle here, 8... 402. I think I got that one from Argos and was disappointed that there was a the box wasn't in great condition. A uh, little little minifigure pack here from 8401. What year are these from? 2009 again, so they're getting quite old. This little vehicle here it looks like a little smart car. I always quite like that. There we are, hold it straight. And that's 3177. We have the uh, camper van. Uh, I think this is the first camper van that they ever did. 76. Three nine. Again, does this one come with stickers that I've kept? Uh, if they have, they're not in there. Um, okay, well maybe maybe I put the stickers on. I can't remember. So yeah, I, I always I always like this. Just a really really nice little set. Two minifigures and you get a little bike on top as well. Fabulous. Uh, big octan vehicle. Um, and that's that three. 180 again what's the year oh 2010 on this one oh and we do look look at all the stickers unused stickers 
So, I'm, uh, so I don't like to use them if I don't have to. So yeah, I kept the stickers on that one. Um, we have this here, which is the horse and trailer. Uh, what I liked about this one at the time was the vehicle. This sort of, kind of looks like a Range Rover type vehicle. Um, and you get a horse with that as well. Again, I've probably got the stickers in there somewhere. He says, sometimes I keep the stickers in the boxes. I've got, I've got all the boxes for these. Um, this one here, which is a, a vehicle repair unit, 3179. Just a nice little build, that one. Uh, again, probably, yeah, there's all the stickers again. Look, keep the stickers. It's got, still got the boxes, as I say, for all of these. This is one of my favourite sets at the time. This was the uh, Helicopter and Limousine. You got two separate booklets for this, set 3222. Um, I bought a few of these at the time. They were very, very popular. I remember my local Tesco used to sell them um, at, I think, 11 99 I think they were £11.99. And uh, I sold a few of these relatively quickly because they it got discontinued quite quickly. Uh, but yeah, I've always liked this. I've always preferred the limousine, really, than the helicopter. I'm not really a helicopter person, but yeah, an interesting set. Oh, there's all the stickers again. All the fresh new stickers. Um, yeah, lovely set, that. And then the final one from this little batch here with the, was the Lego truck. I think what I liked about this set at the time was the all the little Lego sets that you got on the boxes. I think, again, they're all stickers. Oh, look at those. Fabulous. So these are all the lovely Lego stickers from the sets to get all the boxes there. Um, mm, okay, so again, I have built this, but didn't put the stickers on. So again, really, really nice Lego set. What year is that from? 2010. So they're all from around 2010, 2009, 2010. All in good condition. Okay, next one. 8403, and this was sort of a modular, modular townhouse. Is it just one booklet? Yeah. Um, not quite sure what light. They sort of did this and never did anything too similar. I suppose you get the, uh, the the shops, corner shops and things like that these days. But it was their sort of first attempt at doing something like this. Um, what year was this from? 2010 again. Um, yeah, I just like the build on this. Looks like you get three minifigures and a dog. Um, little tree house there, which was quite cute. A little kid on a on a roller skate. So yeah, I I, I like this set. I really do like this set. Um, have we got stickers in there, or did I use them? Oh no, all the stickers are there. More stickers. <laughs> so yeah, really like that set. I must build that one again sometime. Okay, so on to the, some of the bigger things. So this is one of my favourite sets. This is one of the best sets ever made, in my opinion, by Lego. This is Simpsons House Seven One O O Six. Um, I've only got this one copy of it and I did build it. Um, I think I did use the stickers on this one. Yes, I did. Look, if you look at the back there, oh, there's, the, there's the empty sticker sheet. So I do use stickers sometimes, but this is a fabulous set. I always regret A, not buying another one of these to keep it sealed and B, not getting the quickie more. I kind of, at the time, I didn't have a lot of cash and uh, these were quite expensive even then. Um, but yeah, fabulous sets. If you do own one of these, they really are great. And again, I must build this again sometime because it's a, it's a fabulous build. So yeah, definitely, definitely want to try and build that again. And then finally, I think, yeah, these are all modular buildings. Now, as you can see, I've pretty much got them all. Um, so this is Cafe Corner. This is the very first modular building proper module building 10182 it says book one of two they did things slightly differently back in the day 2007 I think from memory yet yeah, 2007 um, of course what was interesting with this particular set it looks great from the outside but there was no detail in the middle something that they kind of caught onto that quite quickly Lego and started putting details inside but yeah this uh, this was one of the things again I kind of was flicking through in the internet one day saw this and thought oh Oh, that looks good. And I think I st started looking at these in about 2008. So I was lucky enough still to get one of these. Um, I just have the one that I've built. Um, and there's book two there. So I do love the modular buildings. Fabulous. Uh, we then have probably again another one of my most favourite sets, which is the Green Grocer. And this is when they did start putting um, insides and interiors. The second and third floor on this don't have a lot of interiors, but the ground floor is great. There's a fridge in there with all sorts of stuff. 
Um, so yeah, the Greengrocer is one of my favourite sets. Um, there's three booklets in there. There's two in, in that packet there and one in there. Um, again, I've got the box for all of these. So um, yeah, while well, since I've built these, I also once built it, um, the mirror image, so I did it so that the, the bay windows were on the left hand side. That was that was an interesting way of uh, building it once. So uh, yeah, great set. Um, I think these are all sort of, sort of in date or number order. The next one is a very rare set. This is uh, 10190. This is the Lego factory or the Lego market square, I think it was called. So they sort of did this as a kind of a one-off really. Um, my biggest regret with this Market Street set is not buying more of them. Uh, I remember at the time they were um, priced around about £60 here in the UK to buy new. Um, 2007 I'd like to say, yeah. So I probably got my hands on it in 2008. I think it was once the uh, the Greengrocer was the first one that I got. So I think I got this and then I got the uh, Cafe Corner pretty quick after that. Um, but I remember just before it was some um, discontinued. I think that I saw them, somebody had four of these available, £45 each, all new and sealed. Uh, what I wouldn't have give, given to have four of those sets now sealed, but no, I'm still really pleased I've got one. It's not the best build in the world, to be quite honest. There's parts of it which are like these little bits on top here. They kind of fall off really easy. Um, you only get three minifigures. They're, they're, it's not the greatest build in the world. And in the interiors, there's no interiors inside at all, but... Um, it is sort of one of those sought after buildings, but I'm really, really pleased that I did buy this. And it might be nice to, buy, to build this again at some stage. Next one, as we go through more, more modular builders, we have the Fire Station 10197. This is from 2009, and there's a very, very interesting uh, Lego Star Wars set on the back advertising. Um, I don't know what that is, but um, yeah. Um, <laughs> I like the logo as well, the difference of logos that they used to use back in the day. Lego Star Wars 10 years anniversary, so they, they did a special 10 year anniversary set. Anyway, inter interesting advert on the back there. So yeah, another great set. Um, this was the first one of the um, modular buildings, it was only two stories, but again, great build. Uh, I've got a few couple of these sealed as well, um, but uh, there is one that I've built. Next one is the Grand Emporium. Uh, when this, when the pictures for this first came out, I was like, yeah, got to get one of these. And what I actually did, um, I heard at the time I was living in Chesterfield in the Midlands in the UK, and my nearest Lego store was Milton Keynes, which is, was a good hour and 45 minutes away. And I can't remember how I heard it, but somebody had read online that somebody had managed to order one before it was released um, from the Lego store. So I thought, right. So I rang them up in the morning, whatever morning it was, and said, right, can you save me one of these, please? And they said yes. And uh, I went down the next day, and I got it about two weeks before it was officially released. I think Lego must have been a bit more lax then on um, um, on their release date. So, uh, yeah, I managed to get this early. I did a video of it on one of my old video YouTube channels. I did a time lapse with my old camcorder, which kind of worked well. Got a few hits on that. But, yeah, great set. Another Star Wars set advertising on the back here. Again, not sure... 10195, not sure what that is called, but um, yeah, from 2010. Lovely set this, really like it. I love the escalators inside on this, fantastic. Next one, Pet Shop. This looks as though it's, oh, there's two books in there. Uh, this was nice because it came with two separate sides to the buildings. Again, those interiors uh, were, were quite uh, more detailed, certainly now. I know the left-hand side building was sort of a little bit empty but there was sort of going on the angle it was being renovated. Um, yeah, but great set again. We just have Screaming Lego Boy on the back. Oh, look at that now. What I wouldn't give my hands to get one of those. Look at that, the Maersk train. Um, yeah, and I never I have to say, I would have loved to have got one of those at the time. It looks fantastic. But hey, how I didn't. So if you do have one of these, lucky you. Um, yeah, fabulous. Anyway, so it's, it's very interesting to see some of the adverts on the back of these. This is from... What year is this? It doesn't say on the back of that one. Oh, 2011. Yeah, brilliant set. Next one, Town Hall. 10224. Again, I've got these in the original um, bag that you, you got from Lego. 
Uh, this was good. Um, I did like this set, but I don't think it was that popular. It was m more expensive than the other sets, and they discontinue this a lot earlier than, than normally. What they'd normally do is release one, leave it for three or four years, and when they when they had about three or four that they were selling, they'd get rid of the earliest one. But they kind of they were, did release did um, get rid of this one early, so much so that I didn't manage to get a uh, a separate uh, separate copy of this. But I do have at least one. What do we have on the back? Lego boy. Oh, look at that. That's uh, advertising one of the sets I just I just showed you there. Um, and we've got the um, modular buildings on the back. Again, great set. Glad I got one of those. Start to get to the newer ones now. Um, 10232. This is when they started using the expert uh, name. This is Palace Cinema. Um, Stickers in this one, which was unusual, but I did use the stickers. Never that fussed about the limousine. Great inside. I always thought they missed a little bit of a trick that the internal, um, the internal section of the uh, of the upstairs was always a bit rubbish. Um, I, I never thought there was a lot of a lot of detail inside. Oh, that's just the roof. We get to book two. Oh, it's quite a thin book two. Yeah, just sort of two rows of seats, which I never thought that was particularly. Uh, Great. You sort of get a big screen at the end, I think, where you, uh, yeah, you put a, you put a screen up with a movie. That's that's probably a good shot there. What it looks like inside. So yeah, I, I think that could have been better that set, but still like it. Still glad I got a copy of it. Next one coming slightly more up to date. This is the uh, Parisian restaurant. I think this was just nice because it was a little bit different from the sets that they'd done. There's a lot going on here. It's a little bit weird how the bill goes. But yeah, great set. Again, you get three instruction booklets there. This is from 2014. Um, let's have a look at the back and see what we have. Just some advertisements for the modular buildings. Oh, and the Lego VIP. Oh, with the old rates on there. One one pound, one dollar is uh, yeah, okay. It's all in dollars. Join the new new program. Okay, so that's when that started. Then 2014-ish. Maybe it's older than that. Maybe they're just advertising as normal. That's Parisian restaurant. Next up, detective's office. Uh, they did the books a little bit differently. As you can see, it's more of a, a thicker book here. It's the first time they've done that. We've got the old wind guy starting on the back here. This is from 2015. Uh, like this again, I like all the creator sets, all the modular buildings, they're all great. The pool hall and Al's barbers and the little the little offices and things upstairs. Really great build. And the final one is this. This is the still currently available. This is the uh, Town Square. Again, if you don't have this, get it soon because it's probably not going to last for much longer. 10255, uh, the biggest uh, modular building set they've ever done. Comes with a fabulously thick um, book. Um, but yeah, great build this. Um, I actually dismantled it quite recently, so uh, maybe another time, a later, a later stage, I'll build this again. But yeah, fantastic sets. Got the wind guy on the back, and that is all of the sets that I've got. So there we have it. So these are all the sets that I own and have built at some stage um, and I will be building them all again at some stage. But if there's any in particular that you do want to see me build sooner rather than later, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I hope you like this video a little bit different um, and I will probably start going through some of these, maybe certainly the older sets and start going through and, and maybe sort of building them and, and started to do sort of reviews and how they compare with Lego sets that are available uh, these days anyway. Uh, if you can, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much as always for watching. Take care.